It's the Real Talk Show with Aaron S. Brown. Oh, what you say now? It's the Real Talk Show with Aaron S. Brown. Man, I ain't got nothing but real talk for you. It's the Real Talk Show with Aaron S. Brown. Hold up, man, we got to start the show. It's the Real Talk Show. Welcome to Real Talk with R.S. Brown. I am R.S. Brown. Listen, I'm super excited about this show. I'm going down to Augusta Technical College to tell you guys about the awesome things that they have to offer. Now, we're on our way to go see Mr. Elam, the president of Augusta Technical College. All right, so we're here at Augusta Tech, Augusta Technical College, I should say, and we're going to see if we find, we're at the president's office, see if we find President Elam, all right? See if we find him and uh, see if we tell us about this cabin out there, all right? There he is, there he is. President Elam. Yes. I you going? You doing okay? Doing? Good. Good, good. Listen, we, we had a lot of people talking about the awesome things that's going on at Augusta Tech. So we had to come to Augusta Tech and check it out, all right? Okay. And one thing now I know you know a lot about is the cabin that's on the campus. So you think you could tell us about that? Yes, let's start with the uh, marquee here on the wall. All right. Back in 1978, uh, the Richmond County School System, after looking mm -hmm. at properties throughout the community, yeah. decided to relocate all the campuses of Augusta Tech to one. Hmm. Now, that's kind of strange. Today, we have five locations. Five, uh -huh. But back then, uh, we were scattered throughout the community in some areas that were not uh, up to par with mm -hmm. where we thought we need to be. Mm -hmm. This location was um, uh, here on Dean's Bridge Road and mm -hmm. Lumpkin Road was uh, the location. Mm -hmm. uh, it was originally Concord. 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 It was oh, wow. owned by the Nixon family mm. and they owned both sides of the expressway. Wow. Uh, they had a history with education. Mm -hmm. um, uh, one of the family members, a couple of them were college professors and Mm. had gone on, many of them had been leaders in the community, um, so it was a good fit. Uh, but uh, the property uh, was owned by one family, which made it easier uh, uh, yeah, to obtain. Did. So the school system bought the total track on this side of the expressway. Back then, Bobby Jones was being built. Oh, wow. The college was built on this portion, and back then, the bus depot was built on another portion Gotcha. And then they kept another section that we later bought. Mm -hmm. The bus depot, where the buses used to be, became the technical magnet school. school. Uh -huh. That's correct. And that's uh -huh. where that location uh -huh. came from. So uh, after moving here, all the uh, campuses moved here except Health. And the Health mm -hmm. Campus moved here about 10 years later, mm -hmm. um, 1990, mm -hmm. when a new building was built. Mm -hmm. And then we moved that campus here. Later on, we start building campuses in other communities because wow. by that point, we were a state school, not a local school. Oh, wow. See, Richmond County paid for this campus. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yes. So it was just a local just school. Local, right. Okay, okay. And then once we became a regional and covered five counties, we were able to build campuses in those other areas. Wow. One of the unique things about this property, mm -hmm. that it was the home of the Nixon family. Hmm. This is where they spent their summers because they lived in town and you had mosquitoes and malaria. <laughs> uh -huh. So they came out here because there was no natural water on the property. Yeah. And don't we know that? Yeah, and that's no right. Streams and anything uh -huh. like that. Anything that's here is man-made. Mm -hmm. So they were able to um, live out here. Mm -hmm. And in the 1919 era, they built a log cabin. Oh, wow. So that's where the cabin that's came the from. That's cabin is, that's here today. Okay. They built a house prior to that, but that house burned. Mm. So that cabin was built um, with the help of um, a lot of people who, I just happen to know some of those family members. Okay. Who um, um, helped put that cabin together. Mm. And uh, so this is a piece of property that has some historic concord. Concord. They tried growing grapes. <laughs> we wanted to make this a good venue, uh -huh, uh -huh. and it didn't work. It didn't work. No but water. If you look around the campus, mm -hmm. there are wild grapes, wild Concord vines growing. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I, I never paid attention to that. Yeah, you'll see them when we go to uh -huh, the cabin, uh -huh. okay? Oh, wow, they wow. They kind of run wild right now. 
But no, it didn't turn into a vineyard, but mm -hmm. the idea was great. And uh, obviously, um, eventually mosquitoes followed us. Because <laughs> yeah. where man goes, so does water. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Water sits in a pot or a pan. Mosquitoes, mosquitoes come, come uh -huh, too. So that's right. That's it right. It is no longer a mosquito free zone. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it is one of the, the highest spots in Richmond County. Wow, I never realized that. And that's why you have some radio mm -hmm. transmission sites from the other side of the expressway. Oh, wow. Because that's why radio, radio towers are located there. Yeah, mm -hmm. You can see mm -hmm. downtown from here. From here? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Let's go check out this cabin. I got to okay. check out the cabin. All right, let's go check it out. We're killing it for now, right? Yeah, we're killing it for now. Uh -huh. Joyce, I thought you were going to call Universal Plumbing. I called my brother. He fixed it last week. You called your brother to fix the plumbing? Your brother can't even fix a sandwich. He saved us a lot of money. Yeah, well, your brother is not a plumber. Look at this place. Call Universal Plumbing now. Call Universal day or night. First rate service at a flat rate price. Universal Plumbing. Quick response. Flat rates. Not this house. This house protected by Callaway Security. Callaway Security. Got you. What's going on? Don't worry, ma'am. We're Callaway Security. We're here. Thank God for Callaway Security. So give us a call at Callaway Security, where we make being safe affordable. It's the Real Talk Show with R.S. Brown. Real Talk Show. The cabin is owned by the foundation. It was mm -hmm. donated about 13 years ago. Uh, hmm. It's not owned by the college and it's protected. Mm. Uh, the donation means says that we cannot tear it down okay. unless a natural disaster takes place. Mm -hmm. So we're here to preserve it. That's why it looks like it's in its natural state. Uh -huh. All the wood, uh, wow. except the concrete blocks, Mm -hmm. that you can't tell. There are some concrete. Yeah, I sure can't tell. That's it. right. Some of those are concrete, some of those are wood. Oh. All of those were cut on this property. Wow. So. Way to recycle. <laughs> they actually uh, cut the wood. It has earthen floors mm -hmm. with some covering on it. Uh -huh. And it totals about 3,000 square feet in education. Okay. They supported Miss Lucy Laney mm -hmm. oh, good. in her first endeavors in education here. Mm -hmm. Out in a shallow area before she went downtown. Downtown. She taught. And hmm. uh, so they have a long connection as uh, supporters of education. education. Uh, particularly for minorities. That's awesome. Uh, they actually built the school that my brother went to. Really? The first five years uh, by the airport. Wow. It's called the Nixon School. They built the mm -hmm. building. Board of Education supplied the teachers. Hmm. That's Back then, awesome. they did not build schools in the country. Mm -hmm. Either a church or someone who supported education. Hmm. So the Nixons did build a school on Tobacco Road. Uh, now it's considered a country, huh? That oh yeah, much of us. Yeah. <laughs> you got to remember the hmm. further south ed, uh, elementary school in Richmond County when I was a kid, mm -hmm. uh, before I started school, was college. Really? Yes. Wow. That's the school I attended too, Collins Elementary. Collins was, uh -huh. yeah, Collins, we, um, uh, Craig was built when I was mm -hmm. a kid, mm -hmm. um, Hornsby, all those schools. So education was really centralized Real tight. to a small area, huh? wow. only high school being Laney, mm -hmm. and prior to Laney, wow. Harold Johnson was the high school. Yikes, I didn't realize, realize that. Johnson as a high school is older than Laney. So Johnson High School is older than Laney? Yes, because Laney was a private school. Mm. Haynes Institute. Wow, didn't know that. It replaced what was A.R. Johnson mm -hmm. and Haynes Institute. So from a historical standpoint, mm -hmm. you know, we're only 70 years away from, from, there. from that point. Wow. We have a generation of people still living. Uh-huh. That still did not go to public high school or public education. Hmm. That's something. So when you think about it, 70 years, mm -hmm. the less than the average age of a, an American today. Yeah. Uh, we have people who started school mm -hmm. in what would have been church schools mm -hmm. or schools uh, owned by small groups in the community. Wow. 
That's something. That's that's your history tip right there for today. I never, I did not know that. I oh, didn't yeah. know that. Seven years ago. And the Nixons had a big part they of that. They had a part of it. Wow. Um, they played a role in South Augusta, and they played a role with us. So mm -hmm. it's a good connection, you know. And my connection is, I have many relatives uh -huh. who went to the Nixon school. They went to the Nixon school. Wow. Yes. That's where they got their formal uh -huh. education. And now you're the president of, of, a, school of a school that was Nixon, Nixon property. property. So yeah, that's a that's a point of pride. There. That is, that is, that's, that's a, a that's that's a point of pride. pride. Uh -huh. And you know the fact that I remember when Nixon school was closed. Mm. You remember all of that? I remember that. Oh sure. Wow, wow. I remember when they gave away the playground equipment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got the swing. <laughs> the swing is here. <laughs> I still own it. You still own it. Wow. Own wow. Wow. That's a so still got Dave Frank. You still got it all. Wow. That's yeah. a, so tell us about um, some of the awesome things, you know, as president that you get a chance to see here at Augusta Technical College. Because I'll okay. tell you, it's moving forward. Well, this microcosm of what I just mentioned uh -huh. is historic. Yeah. It took 70 years oh, wow. to get to where we are today. Mm -hmm. Today, though, the change is 18 months. Wow, 18 months. Technology is changing what we teach, how we teach it in 18 months. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we don't even have an idea of mm -hmm. what we're going to be teaching the first graders who are in the first grade this year. Wow. <laughs> we have no idea of the careers mm -hmm. that are going to be available. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. uh, an example, uh, you like new cars. That's right. How about if you buy a classic car that's 50 years old that's brand new? Hmm. I, what do you think about that? I don't think that's possible. I didn't think. Well, Classic Jaguar just announced they're opening a factory in Savannah mm -hmm. that they're actually going to reproduce Jaguar cars of all ages at that factory. Wow. Now, they'll cost you. Oh, yeah. I can and imagine. And they'll put the modern stuff in it. Mm -hmm. So you can get an electric Jaguar XKE. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. But that's that's totally different. Totally different. Totally uh -huh. different from the way we've looked at throwaway things. Exactly. So from an environmental standpoint, mm -hmm. things will change obviously from a technology standpoint. Mm -hmm. It's going to be easier, cheaper to uh, use technology to do things that we used to do mm -hmm. the old fashioned way mm -hmm. that will be done. Counting money for instance. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I heard about little chips in your hand and yeah, all that they talking about I mean, doing and all. Do we really count money today? Not really. Uh -uh. Not really. No, uh -uh. not really. Yeah. Churches are having to change the way they take up collection. That's correct. They're having a tough time with that, by the way. Yeah, they are. Uh huh. <laughs> they're going to stay in business. Yeah. They better adapt because guess what? Young people don't do. They don't carry cash. And our checks. Yep, that's right. Our checks. Yep, because I don't, I don't so carry you're going to collect dues, you better come up with an electronic way. That's right. That's the excitement. The excitement mm. is young people like you. Yeah. And you say, y'all will drive that. Mm -hmm. Y'all will drive those consumer things right into the next generation. Mm -hmm. And then the kids behind you will be smarter than you. Mm -hmm. And they will make you think that what you were doing was so advanced. And then they're going to be programming by looking at you, not by touching a phone. A phone. That's something. When they can just think of the number. And it is. And gone. it rings. Wow. And by the way, the phone's not even on you. Mm -hmm. It's just somewhere close to you mm -hmm. because you're connected to it. You're connected to science, it. Science, yes. Science, nice. yes. Science fiction, no. No. Mm. That's society. <laughs> so, yeah, our job at Augusta Tech is to continue the ritual of being able to update technology, being able to update mm -hmm. what we're teaching, and obviously uh, being able to uh, uh, afford, mm -hmm. keep it affordable, yeah. that the average person can take advantage. Makes sense, makes sense. Because whoever thought, whoever thought mm -hmm. that everybody in this country almost carried a, a camera. Yeah, that is true. I didn't even say phone. Uh-huh, a camera. A camera. Mm-hmm. Wow. That the world is live and in person. That's right. As it happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's technology. That is. Now, how do we adapt that to all the different things we need? Don't worry. I got faith that young people will. That's true. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Well, I so tell that's you what, my excitement. Yeah. I tell you what, well, I appreciate you uh, spending this time and telling us this history here at Augusta Technical College. And uh, man, I tell you, it, it's moving forward. So we're going to go ahead and see Miss Beverly now, right? Okay. Miss yes. Beverly. And she's going to tell us a little bit more about the college. We got to yeah. get you back to your busy schedule. Okay. Thank All right. You. Mm -hmm, no problem. Thank you. All right. I thought you were going to call Universal Plumbing. 
I called my brother. He fixed it last week. You called your brother to fix the plumbing? Your brother can't even fix a sandwich. He saved us a lot of money. Yeah, well, your brother is not a plumber. Look at this place. Call Universal Plumbing now. Call Universal day or night. First rate service at a flat rate price. Universal Plumbing. Quick response. Flat rates. We are located at 1247 New Savannah Road, Augusta, Georgia. We do land and lot clearing, demolition, and roll-off rent. We are still doing the job right for 35 years. You can reach us at 706-722-4409. Again, it's 706-722-4409. It's the Real Talk Show. With R.S. Brown. Real Talk Show. All right, Miss Beverly. Hey, yeah. How's it going? R.S. Brown. Good. Nice to meet you. Miss Beverly Peltier. I, I am super excited to be here. Well, good. Um, to learn about the awesome things that Augusta Technical College has to offer. Oh, and we have a lot of those. All right. And so, hey, you think you can tell me about some? Well, the first thing I'd like to do is let you learn a little something about Augusta hmm. Tech on your own. So I'm oh, going right? to send you on a scavenger hunt to find ah, three of my favorite people. Scavenger hunt. Yes. The first one knows more about Augusta Tech and Augusta mm -hmm. history, mm -hmm. and that would be President Elam. Okay. Yeah, that definitely talk to the him. The second person I'd like you to find knows a lot about types and fonts and prints, mm -hmm. and um, it's a really fun program, and that would be Miss Sherry Rowe. Okay. And the last person I'd like you to find is our Teacher of the Year from 2017 for the state of Georgia and her name is Ashley Strong Green and All she right. teaches English and Humanities. Okay. And I think that'll give you a good perspective of what's happening here at Augusta Tech. Hmm, the scavenger hunt. Hey, I'm for it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're going to go see Miss Rowe. All right, now she does awesome things like this, printing and everything. I mean, it's just going to be awesome. Let's go see if we find her. Hey, Miss Rowe. Yes. How's it going? Going. How are you? Good, good, good. Now listen, I hear you. I mean, the, just the top dog with the, when it goes to, I mean, printing and everything. You just a whole lot. Just oh, technology. Lot. Just technology. technology. So tell us about your program. Well, this is the media design production department at Augusta Tech. So we produce printing, websites, photography, videography. Pretty much if it stands still, we'll print it. Oh, wow. So, um, welcome to my lab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, hey, we've got some stuff laying around. I've got some uh, stuff that we printed. We've Skills. Got some, uh, step and repeats that we okay. use off. We've got some banners that we put out. Mm -hmm. Big signs on our uh, welcome to that we produce that. Oh, wow. Uh, hey, you need a mug? Yeah. Got mm -hmm. a mug? Gus the Cougars. There you go. Look at this. That's right. We put that. We can you put my face on one of these? We can. I can put your face on one of these. <laughs> yeah, right. Coasters, we're starting to sublimate. So okay. that's a heat press printing kind mm -hmm. of technology. So we've got some stuff there. We've got that. We just did the cyber. Cyber. Uh, logos oh. for all the cyber security mm -hmm. buildings downtown. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was a big hit. And I uh, produced some stuff for them. T shirts, polyester shirts. That's kind of fun. Um, what else do we have? Got the heat presses behind us. Heat press, you do all uh, that. Yeah, we got all the heat presses. So we mm -hmm. hard stuff, which is this, the uh, sublimatable polyester material, mm -hmm. and the soft, soft uh, service stuff that we do okay. there. Um, what else you want to see? I've got some drones we do for videography. Mm -hmm. Got some uh, drones. Couple different drones. I've got mm -hmm. some students that are interested in drone piloting. Okay. I have a student right now getting ready to take his test. Mm -hmm. So uh, he'll be a pilot when that's finished. And oh wow, a drone pilot or drone pilot? Drone pilot. Okay, yeah, okay. So that's and that's a pretty license. big field. Oh, it's getting so big. So people are starting to use it for farming and mm -hmm. timber management, which is big here in Georgia. It's one of the second mm -hmm. and third largest industries that we have in the state of Georgia. Okay. Like farming and uh, timber management is huge. So people are taking counts and watching their crops mm. and stuff like that. Hmm. So they don't have to ride out on a four-wheeler anymore. They launch that drone and count their see. peanuts. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's very profitable. Um, mm -hmm. Flip around here. That's rude. I'm yeah. Okay uh-huh. So um, got those all charging because uh, Friday's drone day. Um, mm -hmm. So we got that. So we have a unique and we have a phantom. We have two or three phantoms. Okay. Um, so we've got that going. Not everybody gets to do that. You know, yeah, that's what I say. So you, and your students get a chance to, you know, participate in all things like this and screen printing and all that. They, they learn all that. They learn all that. So we teach them the graphic art department. The, the, the stuff in the graphic arts is the, is the computer process. And they take that and then they're productive with it. So they actually okay. manufacture stuff. And you know we have kids that are uh, students that are interested in uh, 
uh, videography, so mm -hmm. the next step is drone. So we do a lot of uh, pro bono work. We're doing hmm. one now for a, a local golf course, okay. filming theirs and drawing some maps for them, which is kind of cool. So we do that kind of stuff. They mm -hmm. have to do live work, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. is cool. And then we have all the production stuff. So mm -hmm. come on, let's go in here. Let's go We've check it out. Big stuff in here. So I've got a wow. Yeah, Xerox. 800, which is 800. one of the largest ones in the, mm -hmm. in the county right here. So mm -hmm. it prints, stitches, folds, trims, the whole nine yards. So you print that four color printing. At the end, you have a finished product. Mm -hmm. So this is our Roland uh, large format mm -hmm. printer. So this is called a print and cut. So mm -hmm. you can actually print your, uh, your job on here and then cut it out to a, uh, a cut path, which mm -hmm. makes you be able to produce stickers and window stick you know any kind of advertising mm -hmm. marketing that's going to be printed like the banners and stuff like that but this, okay. this is for stickers so your sticker if you printed a frog it can be the shape of a frog wow so it's not just a big square blob mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. so we do our alumni stickers on that and you know we service the school stem stickers and all our cyber security all that here. stuff that we do that so we do that there um got a logo jet right there which is mm -hmm. kind of a funky press it's yeah. an ink jet so you can raise and lower the bed on it and print mm -hmm. irregularly shaped objects. So I print golf balls oh. and marshmallows. I'm probably the only person in the world that's printed a marshmallow. <laughs> marshmallows right there. So um, we've got that. We've got a full function of dark room back in the back. We still do printing, offset printing. So offset. We, need that. We, we need to keep that. Um, so we pretty have, you know, we got a functioning print shop and uh, the students learn to use all that stuff. Students learn to use all that. So mm -hmm. now uh, tell us a little bit about uh, skills. I know that's a very important organization to, um, I mean, the nation. Uh, so, and, and you're actually an advisor for that as well. So tell us about yeah, that. So, so Skills USA is a, a, a worldwide organization now that runs. We've uh, high school and college age students, and we've just recently picked up middle eight, middle okay. school students. So we've got the young ones coming as well. So that's a uh, parent teacher employee organization so mm -hmm. it's a, a, a triad and we teach personal skills um, solid hands-on skills and pretty much anything you need to do to be employable Excuse and then, me, yeah. yeah so there's a you know we have club meetings and we hold it like a club but then there's regional and statewide competitions okay. and, and on national and then global so the global hmm. is uh, world skills is every two years oh wow so world skills world skills is wow. cool. so we've got a couple from our system, TCSG, that are participating mm -hmm. in World Skills this year. That is Mechatronics great. and um, aviation maintenance and a couple more. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but uh, hopefully one day we'll get one to add design. So we, yeah, we win yeah. a lot at state and mm -hmm. national, but we yeah. haven't gotten to, gl to, to uh, global world yet. skills yet. Yeah, so world just, skills. It's just bad timing. Yeah, yeah. All right. So. Well, that sounds good. Well, Miss Rowe, yep. we appreciate it. Uh, hey, no problem. This is awesome. So, hey, if y'all want to learn anything about media production, printing, or anything like that, hey, Augusta Tech is a place to be here with Miss Rowe. That's Go right. On by. We'll teach you to print. We'll teach you. Thanks, man. <laughs> uh huh. All right. All right. So I think I found Miss Strong Green. Uh, two twelve. So let's see if we find her. Now she's English, and so uh, we want to try to speak well. Okay, I'm gonna try to speak well. Miss Strong Green, is that correct? Depends on who's looking for it. <laughs> How's it going? R.S. Brown here, and uh, so I heard that you're. Best of the best. You've been to the state level, everything all on your teaching. It's just absolutely amazing. Okay, now I'm going to try to talk proper here um, so that I won't, you know, properly. See, see that? See that? <laughs> properly. So that uh, uh, you won't uh, give me an F on this test. All right. Okay. So tell us about your class. So I teach English 1101 and Humanities 1101. In my oh. English class, we learn how to be better readers, better writers, better speakers because communication matters and okay. research shows that people with solid writing skills get paid more. Mm. If you ever doubt that, think about how much you hate writing and how much you That's would correct. pay someone to do it for you. That's correct. <laughs> Good way to think about it. <laughs> so so uh, tell me now, like I said, you, you've been to the state and I've heard you got a selfie with the governor and all of that, you know, so you got to have a lot of uh, accomplishments and I mean, you're just doing a lot of things. So tell me, how do your students love you? Like, how do you get your students to love you, I should say? So I try and make what's happening in my classroom reflect what you're doing in the real world. I have a lot of students who ask, why do I need to know how to write if I'm going to be a nurse? Well, spelling matters. Yeah. The difference between favor and flavor is the letter L. 
The difference yeah. between a good prescription and a bad prescription might be you prescribing something that's spelled correctly for a patient. So that's correct. there's a lot of writing that you do in your everyday life. It always helps to learn to be a better speaker. It always helps with things like your job interviews. It'll help you if for some reason you end up giving a speech in front of the governor. Mm -hmm. It's gonna help you when you have to give a presentation in a boardroom and you need to explain to somebody how to accomplish something. Good writing matters, but hmm. communication is a two-way street, so it's hmm. about sending the message, and it's also about being receptive. So okay. another part of being a good writer and understanding composition and rhetoric is understanding how to be a responsible listener, a better reader, a positive audience member. Okay, all right. Now, now I, I interrupt you while you were writing something. Uh, what is this? So I was thinking about how many students come to me and talk about this I before E except after C rule. Mm -hmm. And if there's one thing I've learned as an English teacher, it's that there are no rules, there are okay. only guidelines. So there are countless ways that you see the I before E mm -hmm. rule violated. Foreign, neighbors, beige, leisure, feist. I was actually about to write the word heist up when you started uh -huh. with me, so uh -huh. be very careful. We don't want any robberies going on. <laughs> That's so correct. part of understanding how a composition class works is getting that these are things that are hard and fast that we need to understand as rules so that everyone's on the same page. Like we all want to use the comma the same way. But some of being a good communicator is just understanding guidelines. It's appropriate to do this in this situation where it's not really appropriate to do this in another situation. Okay, all right, all right. So I was just coming up with a couple of examples that we could use or discuss. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, so uh, if you guys want to come to Augusta Technical College and really learn how to uh, Put the eyes, we said the eyes before E. I or before E. I before E. Except when you're talking about receipts. Uh, uh, except when you're talking about receipts, all of those different things that uh, I know a little bit about but not a lot, come to see Miss Grown Green, okay? <laughs> I think we have finished our scavenger hunt. We found uh, all our teachers for the show today. Now it's time to get back to it. All right, so I'm back. Wow, great, that was fast. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in the move kind of fast. Did you, know. you find all of our guests? I did. I found Miss Elam, I found Miss Gronger, and Miss Rowe. Did you learn anything? I did. Augusta Tech really has a lot going on. Good. Well, Good. hopefully you'll send your friends your, our way. Yeah, yeah. And all of the viewers, make sure you come to Augusta Tech. And how can they do that? Um, very easy. You can go online and learn a little bit more about the programs that you're interested in at www.augustatech.edu. Or you can come on campus. Um, we have people available that can give you a tour. We have um, counselors that can you know help you decide career-wise where you want to head and then it's just a matter of submitting the application and following you know the path from there all right all right and they can be a part of the Cougars right here at Augusta Technical College listen it's better as possible but good is not good enough it's time for us to go don't just be great be the greatest here at Augusta Technical College well, did you enjoy that show? I tell you what, I absolutely enjoyed bringing it to you. We had a good show. I mean, you learned a lot, I learned a lot, and hopefully that it'll help some of you guys, and you guys can go to Augusta Technical College. Hey, like I say every Saturday, if better is possible, good is not good enough. So be in the zone of better. Don't just be great, be the greatest. R.S. Brown signing off. The Real Talk Show with R.S. Brown. Oh, what you say now? It's the Real Talk Show with R.S. Brown. Man, I ain't got nothing but real talk for you. It's the Real Talk Show with R.S. Brown. Hold up, man, we got to start the show. It's the Real Talk Show.